So, so many of those guys are going to be counted on immediately. So generally, what did you think about the readiness from a physical standpoint? Good. I mean, I, I think that anybody that's been through a college program um, is going to be a little bit more physiologically ready. They're older, their training age is higher, uh, their bodies have adapted to the, to the calendar and the amount of time that it takes. Um, I, I think they fit right in and did a nice job. You improved their, you're very good at sort of forecasting the next guys to emerge based upon their development and obviously. Do you like some of those guys being really made big jumps? Well, the one that I referenced, and I think he's the most improved of anybody we have, and, and I probably won't reference anybody else, but um, Merlin Robertson, who as a senior, you know, he improved more than um, than I've seen in, in, in him. Uh, he improved so much that uh, he even surprised us in, in how much he improved. And, you know, I'm not going to get into exactly what that is, but just physiologically, mentally, um, you know, top to bottom, just incredible improvement uh, from him. So that, that that's exciting. How about the photo of you guys in the finishing your program? You know, like, at, like, four and a half definitions, like, Whatever he weighs around 230 something probably. Yeah, he's uh, he looks great and he's moving great and I think he feels great. Um, you know, he did a lot of work with uh, with us on his diet and his, uh, his sleep and, and kind of the, the 22 hours of the day. You know, we, they're with us for two hours of the day in the summer and the 22 hours of the day is either when they're improving or doing things that. Become a negative for the two hours that we just we had him for. So um, that uh, he, he did fantastic. You guys will see him, uh, you know, come Wednesday, and um, you can ask him about it. And, and, but um, he's, he's done a phenomenal job. Five-year starter. It's atypical. It's atypical. Yeah. So without revealing maybe anything that you don't want to, what conversations? What were the conversations like around this? How it worked? Um, you know, Merlin. Merlin did 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 this on his own. You know, he 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 reached out to the appropriate parties for the things that he wanted to improve on. And, and um, you know, from a physiological perspective, it was us most of the time. And uh, I think he's ready to to have a really good season. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to talk about his play uh, in his career, but um, he's ready to have a good season. Yeah. You know, the, um, Aaron Stansbury looks like a different human being. Uh, who are the guys that have maybe gained the most size and strength? Yeah, I mean, it's always. Uh, it's always a plus and a minus game uh, to try to refine each guy and make sure they're at their best for um, for camp and for, for the season. Um, Aaron's done a really nice job. Um, but uh, you guys will see. You know, I'll, I'll let you guys use your eyes uh, on Wednesday, and I'm sure you'll have a whole, you know, rundown of, of uh, everybody. Um, but... Uh, for, for us, it's it's been about the team. Um, everything we talk about is, is as a group, is as a unit, and, and um, you know, we've made some strides in that regard. A lot, a lot of the uh, players and coaches talk about the leadership component. Because you're spending so much time around them, like, what is it about the Kyle Solis and the Darius Hendersons that? Or maybe even on a some, some of that. Like when you when you face adversity, practice to practice. Yeah. When you're tired. I think you know number one they've been through it, and number two, um, you know through the leadership group we've we've been able to educate them on some different you know ways to uh, get get a group to you know kind of head in that one direction. Um, you know, that was spearheaded by Gene uh, and um, AJ and Marcus and Lean. Um, and, and we were involved with that. Uh, we were in all those meetings. And, and I think that um, we, 
just gave them a little bit of education on you know what it's like to be a CEO, what it's like to be a, a, an all pro a captain. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter what the what the profession, right? Is if you're leading people, then you the, those criteria are normally relatively similar, and um, so we gave them kind of a broad education on sort of all those things, and I, I think not only will it help them, you know, while they're here, I think it'll help them for their for their future too, and all all, all the leaders in our leadership group were able to kind of get that education piece, and I, I think it'll it'll uh, help, so that they have tools in their toolbox as far as, hey, when this happens, maybe you should try this, when this happens, maybe you should try this, this doesn't work, try this, and we did it in a small setting, and then we will build up on it. I like him. Uh, he's he's big. He's strong. He's fast. Um, he uh, has a very strong arm, um, and uh, he fits in well with our team. Fits in. He's he's, he's very connected with everybody that um, he works with, and he's personable and. Um, that's good. Players, uh, and even some coaches have said that they feel like there's more buy-in. Maybe, maybe there's you know, fewer guys that are like energy suckers or they're detracting from the game in some kind of way. And it's a smaller group, um, scholarship players. Do you feel like um, things that you've learned from the past, that you know, it's like new, new guys coming in? Uh, what's your kind of strength of what those guys are doing? I don't know. I, I, I just know what what I know and what I feel from the summer, and, and I agree with that. I think the team is closer together, and I think that uh, this this team is um, in a really good place right now.